Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to set up our initial project. Go ahead, uh, create a folder of your choice, and for these tutorials, uh, we're going to be using VS Code. I'm going to leave a link for that in the description, so if you don't have VS Code, uh, go download it now, or use a browser, or use an editor of your choice. Uh, Node++, plus plus, Sublime Text, Atomic, whatever. So, in this uh, folder, I'm going to open up code, and let's close this. Uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make a new file, and that's just going to be our index.html. So this is going to be the main page that we're going to be working on. I'm then going to uh, make a little template, and this is a standard HTML page, so let's say hello. And let's just go reveal in File Explorer. I'm going to take this HTML page. I'm just going to open up in Chrome. All right. And we're, here we have our hello. I'm just going to put this to the side and have my uh, index page here so we can sort of see what's going on. So I'm going to leave a link for this as well. What we want to do on this page is we want to grab this CDN. And... All this thing is is just a package with all the all, all the JavaScript required for view to function. So this is core the core view functionality. Close that, and preferably you want to include it at the bottom of your right before the bottom of your body tag. Uh, so let's make a div, and actually I'll just make this code a little bit bigger like so so you guys can see it uh, let's make, let me close the explorer let's then make another script tag make sure it's below where below the link to the view and let's start here so let's create a variable app and say new view call the constructor and let's pass in some options to the constructor so this right here, what I'm highlighting, is a JavaScript object, and that's going to be the options. And the curly, the circle brackets basically say it's a constructor. So we're going to basically make a view object, and our app is going to be a view object. And in here, the first thing we want to do is we want to specify an element. We want to select an ID uh, selector, or specify an ID selector, and say app, right? Then to the div that we made here, let's add this app, ID app. So now what will happen is this view app will get bound to this div here. Might not mean much right now, but let's proceed. Next thing, pretty standard. We want to make a data property. And in here, let's just specify a message. And let's say, hello world. And to display this property from view, we, the syntax is to opening curly brackets and to closing curly brackets. And in here, let's type message. Let's refresh. And here we have hello world. world. And what this ID app means is basically that this is the scope in which our view app operates. So if we would have done the same thing outside of uh, the scope of our appli uh, application, or rather a component. So right now this app is a view component, okay? And we can go ahead and define a second one. So ID app2. Let's copy this. I'm going to delete this in a second, so you don't necessarily have to repeat this. But hello world 2. After I put in the message here, you will see that we have two separate view components operating separately. So if we would have changed the data in one component, it would not affect the other component. Now, the thing is, we can basically have these view components running um, 
side by side or one inside the other, and these components can communicate. Another important thing is you can access these components through your uh, browser console. So if you go into your console and you just type in app dot message, you can already see these message uh, the, the what's called the property here. And if you type in app two dot message, you can see the message in that app. So <clears throat> these apps are JavaScript objects, and uh, really just view components are available in the whole DOM here. And make sure you understand that whichever element you bind this component to will only work within the scope of the element that you bind it to.